Welcome to a tactical fly fisher not tying tutorial today. We're coming to you from our illustrious carp pond in front of our warehouse where we stare at carp while in between, uh, you know, filling orders while we're coming in and out. Uh, and we have a lot of extra traffic on the road today because road construction that's diverting it all here. So I apologize for the road noise. But one of the things I get asked a lot is what knots I use. So in this knot tying tutorial, we're gonna look at the knots that I use or the knot that I use for uh, tying a fly on. So fly to tippet knot. And this knot is called the 1620 knot. I picked it up all the way back when I was, I think, 17 years old out of an American Angler magazine. And the backstory is that it uh, comes from a club in Canada called the 1620 Club, where you have to catch a 20 pound Atlantic salmon on a size 16 fly. Uh, it's a knot that's also referred to as the Pitson knot. So if you've seen that knot, that's also a 1620 knot. Um, this knot is exceptionally strong. It's very small. The knot is strong because instead of it just being jammed into a hook like a clinch knot, it's tippet on tippet, which actually creates a lot of friction. So the knot doesn't fail by slipping. The only way this knot fails is if you actually break the tippet that is wound around the eye of your hook. So for me, it's a very strong knot. I've gone and I've used, you know, half a dozen, 10 other knots over the years, but I've always come back to this one and it's still the most consistent knot for me, which is why I use it. So I hope you uh, enjoy it and uh, that you try it out on your flies and, and enjoy some of the benefits. To start the 1620 knot, we're just gonna thread that tippet through the eye of our fly. And then I control the hook, which you'll see why I do that later, but I control it by putting the hook point in my finger like that. And I've got a callus there that you can see. That's just from doing this many, many times over the years. If you uh, do this knot a lot and you do it this way, you'll, you'll build up that callus and it won't hurt. Um, okay, then I've got my short tag and my main line. I'm just gonna pair them up under my finger here. Uh, I've got my thumb and my index finger on my left hand just pinching it. And then I grab the tag and actually face it back towards the hook. And I pinch under my middle finger against my thumb on my left hand and rotate and do one, two, three turns. And then there's a loop that's under my fingers there. You can kind of see it on the camera right in the middle, and I'm gonna thread that tippet through that loop, okay? Then, to close it, I actually pull on the hook here. And what that does, it closes the knot without um, making too much waste. And then, to, to cinch it shut, I put it on the side of the eye of the hook, that's really important. Um, if you do it on the front, then the knot can actually close back and kind of envelop the the whole hook eye and it won't close properly. So do it on the side of the hook eye and you'll feel a little pop or a click. And then you just move the tippet back in front. And once you feel that little click, the knot is properly closed. And you can see I don't have much waste there. And it, when you practice that, I can actually get it down to where I pretty much don't even have to trim that off if I'm not trying to do it for the camera here. Um, I can at least get it down to where I have like a sixteenth of an inch of waist. And obviously, if you're using this knot to tie on a fly for a dropper tag, then you can get a lot more changes out of that dropper tag before you have to retie it. So that's the finished 1620 knot. It's really, really strong. Um, it's been my favorite for a lot of years. And I hope you give it a try and that it works for you too. Thanks for watching this knot tying tutorial. If you liked it, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the Tactical Fly Fisher channel, and then come on over to tacticalflyfisher.com, where in that building over there, we'll ship you out your orders for your fly tying and fly fishing goods. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that some of the tips that I uh, provided on tying the knot help you so that you're consistent in tying the knot, but also that you get a, a less tippet usage so that you can use it on your dropper tags and get multiple changes out of your flies. Thanks for watching.